Hey, hey everybody, welcome back. So as most people are getting ready for the holidays, winter's in full effect, I thought, hey, why not have something really interesting that goes along kind of with the holidays with the season. So this week's video is gonna be a snowy cabin in the mountains. Now this is a bigger project, so we're gonna start with the mountains. Let's get to it. Okay, everybody. So, got some of this styrofoam. And I decided, you know, I'm gonna do this project. I uh, have a lot of this, and I thought, well, this is gonna be a kind of a higher project, a, a deeper one. So I thought I'll use these bigger blocks. And, uh, yeah, this stuff's messy. So, here I am starting off with the mountain range for this project, just kind of giving it the general shape using a serrated bread knife actually worked really well for this. Just giving it the general shape of the mountain range so that I can come back in later and start to separate the individual mountains. So like all I did was just use this knife and just hack away at it really. No rhyme or reason, just kept on going until it kind of looked like what I wanted and it definitely turned out pretty cool actually got some extra deep grooves there kind of uh, for separation of the mountains again and that's kind of how it looked so to affix it to the other part of the styrofoam I decided to use some tacky glue and I guess when I say I decided to use some I used quite a bit. I don't know why I kept going. Maybe I was just fascinated by the stream of tacky glue keeping <laughs> coming out. I don't know what it was. So anyway, I overdid the tacky glue, but whatever, it'll stick, it'll, it'll be good. <laughs> Put that to the base and made sure it was secure. So I let that dry for a few hours. And then comes this cement mixture that uh, I learned from another channel. The channel name is called Dragon Eye Creations. And she makes this stuff for her projects and it, it literally turns into rock hard cement type stuff. So I'm gonna link the video on how to make that so you guys can go take a look at that. So basically all I did was I took that mixture and spread it out all over that mountain range, all over the styrofoam kind of smoothing it but but not on the mountains themselves I wanted the mountains themselves to be a little bit uh, textured definitely more textured than the, the base there you see there so just use a whole bunch of that and textured it real good so the next step I moved on to uh, washing this so I didn't paint this first I just left it the way it was and sprayed a little bit of water on there first and then I started using multiple different color washers. So starting off kind of with a gray, I used that. Did a, I didn't wash it all, you know, just in, in spaces, in, in crevices, and I wanted it to look really, really patchy. So as you guys can see through the multiple different colors that I'm going to put on there, it was nice and patchy. So I'll let you take a look at that.
Okay, so all of those washes that I used were just acrylic paint that were watered down so I can, you know, make it make it splotchy, but also make it run a little bit. So as you can see, I used multiple, multiple different colors. I think it was six or seven in the end that I used and just put it all over the place. As you can see, real rough and dirty. And then with the black wash, all those colors are really, really going to be muted, but they're still going to show through and it looks just great. So here's your black wash all over the whole thing. It's going to make it look nice and interesting. Yeah, as you can see on the mountains there, you can still see the colors coming through. It looks great. touch up here and there black wash is done okay now we're moving on to the dry brushing so here I'm using a darker gray did about four of these different shades of dry brushing really 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 brings out the, the rocky kind of color with this first gray dry brush all those colors you can still see still comes through so it's really really looking good oh no funky pits getting you down those other brands just don't work introducing like brand deodorant with anti-funk technology freshness that lasts all day like brand by Lance Co. All right, moving on to the next lighter color of dry brushing. So this is just another lighter gray now, going over top of the, the darker gray that we used just before. And then I used the white, and here I am putting on a really, really thick dry brush on the very tips to simulate all the snow that's on the top of it. So that's about it, guys mountains are done. Let me know what you think. We'll see you again on the next one.